Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to think like a United States Navy SEAL. Check this out. Hey guys, Ron White here, two-time USA Memory Champion. When I was training for the United States Memory Championships, I hired a former United States Navy SEAL, T.C. Cummings, to be my mental coach. And people would always ask me, what does a Navy SEAL know about memory tournaments and memory competitions? Nothing. But he knew everything about being confident, focused, and disciplined. And that's what he taught me. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five secrets that he taught me on how to think like a Navy SEAL and these helped me become a national memory champion. So I ended up becoming the two-time USA memory champion with TC Cummings as my coach and I want to say up front and this is very important I am not a United States Navy SEAL and I am not claiming to be one. I was in the Navy 2002 to 2010 but I am not a Navy SEAL. My coach was a SEAL and I have tremendous respect for him. The first lesson that I learned from T.C. Cummings, my Navy SEAL coach was, he said, Ron, Navy SEALs and warriors have a philosophy. And that philosophy is the more you sweat in times of peace, the less you bleed in times of war. I'll say that again. The more you sweat in times of peace, the less you bleed in times of war. And I'm like, T.C., what does this mean? And he said, Ron, let me ask you this question. How are your competitors training right now for this memory tournament? I said, they're sitting at their kitchen table and they're memorizing a deck of cards in total silence. They're telling the kids to play outside. They've got the radio and the TV off and they're memorizing in perfect conditions. And he replied to me, a Navy SEAL would never train that way. They train with chaos and everything going wrong. I'm like, okay, TC, what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to get plastic playing cards and snorkel gear, and I want you to memorize cards underwater. Now imagine this, you're at the pool, you're hanging out, eating hot dogs, drinking Cokes, playing volleyball, and some guy walks out in the pool with snorkel gear, plastic playing cards, dives in the water, goes underneath, and starts memorizing decks of cards underwater. And that's what I was doing. And the philosophy was this. If I was hard on myself on my training, then the tournament would become easy on me. If I was easy on myself in my training, the tournament would be hard on me. I would be memorizing a deck of cards underwater and the, the water would be creeping into my goggles. I would have a hard time breathing. Kids would throw volleyballs and they would hit my head. I'd be floating in the cold water. It was so cold I had to wear a wetsuit sometimes because it was in January sometimes when I was doing this. I got so good at memorizing a deck of cards underwater, I eventually got to the point Point where I could do it underwater faster than anybody else could do above water in the United States. When I went to the tournament, I didn't just win that event, I set a new national record because it was easy. The more you sweat in times of peace, the less you bleed in times of war. Number two, the next lesson that I learned from TC, he wanted me to get my mindset and my confidence and my belief in myself so high. He wanted me to see myself as a winner who had a history of winning. So we went back to all the way when I was 12 years old and we talked about my paper route and how I sold more newspapers than any other kid when I was 13 years old. We talked about how I won the bench set competition in our PE class where we had to sit up against the wall like in a, a bench position and I won that and beat 90 other sixth graders. We went back to junior high, high school, college and all my successes, all my business successes and some of them were so small. Some of them might have been as small as I gave the right answer in that Spanish class when I was called on or I got the key hit in that ninth grade softball tournament. And it was just a list, such a long list. And TC would have me read this list over and over again. And it was programming my mind 
to say, hey, I have a history of winning. Winning is what I do. It is who I am. This tournament is just going to be another example of how I win. It's all about having the mindset of the confidence of a Navy SEAL, and that's what that exercise was for. It was an incredible one that really built my confidence when I walked into the tournament. Number three, the next lesson TC taught me was to set small goals throughout the day. And again, it was all about confidence and belief in myself. And we had such small goals. Be up and training every day by 8.30 in the morning. Memorize a deck of cards 25 times today. Make your bed today. What does making your bed have to do with winning a memory tournament? nothing but it was a small goal and if we set small goals throughout the day like that then at by the end of the day 5 p.m. I might have accomplished 10 goals that day and then at the end of the week I've accomplished 70 goals at the end of the month I've accomplished over 200 goals by the time I walk into that tournament I've accomplished a thousand goals so again it was all about believing in myself and that confidence building and and programming myself and programming my mind that, hey, I hit goals here and I'm going to continue to hit the goals in the memory tournament. And that exercise was really key for me in building my confidence and my belief in myself going into that tournament. Number four, the fourth point that I learned from TC was a Navy SEAL will always face a consequence for not hitting a goal. For example, I had a goal every day to be up and training by 8.30. Well, on this particular day, my alarm went off late. I woke up at 8.35. I shot up. I scrambled. And I started training as soon as I could. But in the back of my mind, all day was eating at me. You weren't up by 8.30 in the morning training. I had my call with TC that afternoon, and he could sense something wasn't right. I shared with him that I hadn't met my goal of being up at 8.30 in the morning. And he said, Ron, as a Navy SEAL, you don't, you don't get a punishment for not hitting a goal, but you do have to face a consequence. Because if you don't face a consequence for this, you're going to be beating yourself up over it. And then when you're up on that stage at the memory championships, you're going to be thinking, who am I to win a national memory championship? I can't even get up at 8.30 in the morning. And that doubt's going to creep in your mind and you could cause you to lose. I said, TC, what is a consequence? What do I have to do? He said, when I was a SEAL, I would always do something that I hated and I hate cold water. So I would stand in the shower for two minutes just with nothing but cold water coming all over me. He said, it's brutal. If you don't believe me, try it, okay? (laughs) I asked him if that's what I should do. He said, I don't want to tell you what you should do. You need to come up with your own consequence. I hung up the phone. It was 31 degrees outside in January. Got my swimsuit, called my girlfriend, put her on the line just in case my heart stopped when I jumped in the water. But I went outside, set the phone down, dove in the water, swam across the swimming pool, came out, jumped up, got back on the phone with my girlfriend, and after that point, I never again beat myself up for sleeping five minutes late because I faced a consequence, it was done, it was over, and I moved on. And as a Navy SEAL, you need that clear conscience. And as a national memory champion, I did as well. Number five, the last lesson that I'm going to share that I learned from T.C. Cummings was train when you don't feel like it. Navy SEALs can't just train when they're feeling good that day. Oh, I feel good. Let's go train. They train every single day. I was sick during my training and I told message T.C. I won't be training today, T.C. I'm sick. And he messaged me back immediately. He said, what if you're sick on the day of the tournament? Are you not going to compete? I said, no, TZ, I'm going to compete, but this is different. He said, it's not different. You train today. And I trained all day that day with a fever and just exhausted and throwing up. Well, in 2010 at the USA Memory Championships, I wasn't sick, but I was equally as handicapped because I had only gotten 45 minutes sleep the night before. My nerves were so wound up I couldn't sleep. I literally walked into a national memory tournament against some of the sharpest people in the country on 45 minutes sleep. But as I was doing the events that day, it crossed my mind. I've trained for this. I've prepared for a memory tournament feeling 
terrible. And I won the 2010 USA Memory Championships on 45 minutes sleep because I had trained and prepared for circumstances just like that. So those are the five lessons that I learned from my Navy SEAL coach, TC Cummings. Comment below and let me know which one of those was your favorite and that you think you might implement into your life. All right, guys, I hope you love that. We got tons more cool videos coming. If you want more just like this, please subscribe. Click the link right here. Go ahead and subscribe. All right.